you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to draw the development of the given figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen and also we are going to complete the plan of the given figure so the first thing you do when you see a situation this way is to reproduce the given figure here right and uh, this is what we have first of all draw an horizontal line right let me make it more visible and you draw the vertical line on that horizontal line this way right now once you've done that this is where they are meeting now the height given for this figure is given to be what 90 from here to here 90 so i'm going to measure 90 from this point here from 0 to 9 is 90 all together so let me bring it out so you saw that i just did so from 0 to what to 9 is 90 this is 9 here and i'm um, after the height then since the, the base of the cone is given to be 60, you look from the plan. So you take half of it, which is 30, 30, from 0 to 3 is 30. And I'll place it here. I'll mark 30 and what? 30. Right? So I'll call this point to be 0.6. And here will be what? 0. So I'm going to join... Point six to the apex points here, height of 80. I'm now going to join point zero to the apex point here, height of 80. This is what we have here. Are we together? And after I've done that, we're not told that this is truncated. We'll cut it up. There's a section plane at this side, QQ. So we cut it off. So cutting it off from here, that means we have a plane measure the height of 50. From this point here, 0 to 50, then we are going to truncate it at that end. So I'll draw my section plane here. Right? So I will cut it, looking it downward this way. And downward this way. So this is Q, Q. Hope you can see that. So I can actually just stick in everything here. Right? So it means you are truncating it, you are cutting it off, looking it down. They always say cut it off and look down. So when you cut it off, this is what you'll be having on the screen, something like this. This is what you'll be remaining, right? But in your heart, in your mind, you'll be seeing it as that figure. That is what this means, that when you cut it off, this is what you'll be having. Now we move forward. Now after I've done that, the next thing is for me to draw my... Um, my in my circle here, the distance from here to here is 30, and I can just place it here, and I can mark base here, and come to this point, then I'm going to draw a circle, this way, I'm going to thicken it, so much, all together, so in doing that, um i'll just draw a line to this point here from here to here is that again so before i'll come back to this let's sort of what develop this give this you divide develop this given figure here so the first step is divide the circle into what into 12 
all together so when i divide it into 12 this is what i am going to be having you take your compass right and you place it at the end here and you come here you cut you come here you cut you place it here you cut left and what and right so from here i'll draw a line i'll move from this point to this point i'll come here also the other line that will move from this point to this point to the center i'll draw another one from this point moving to the center another one from here moving to the center so this is how you divide your circle into 12. So here will be 0, here will be 1, here will be 1, here will be 2, here will be 2, here will be 3, here will be 3, we have 4, we have 4, 5, 5, and what? 6. Can you see that? And the next thing I'm going to do is to project this point upward. So I'll project this point upward from 0. Right, I'm going to take this one also. I'll do the same thing, two also, faint line. I'll do the same thing, three is already there. We have four, we'll do the same thing, we have five. I'll do the same thing, then six is already there. This is four here, so I can call this to be zero. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you project this point towards the center. So from six to this apex point, from four to the apex point, from two to the apex point, from one to the apex point. This is what we have here. Now the first, the two we do now, those like what we've been doing earlier. This point here, let me call it um, M, point M. The apex point should be point M. So from point M, I'll take my radius of 0, N to 0, and I'll pick any point here, any point close to this point, and I'm going to draw that point I'm picking. Let's see that point here will be my point M. So I'll draw the radius from that point in this manner. Hope you can see that. So from that point M, I am going to take project it to this point where it cuts the arc here. We'll call it point zero, right? So I will take the radius of 0 to 1 or 1 to 2, any of the two, and I'll place it at 0. I'll mark this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, right? And we have 6. 6 is there, right? And here also I'll do the same thing from 0. No mark. This is one, two, three, four, five, and what? Six. So we'll start marking them. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and what? Six. Let me just take it up a little bit. So we'll move forward. Now the next thing that we're going to be doing here, let me take it up a little bit. So from each of those points, you draw your line to touch M. You have all your line to touch M. Just like all these numbers here touching M.
hope you can see that. Now, what do you notice? This is where all the line meets. That they can now. Unlike what we've done in our previous videos. This is where the line all meets. So what I'll just do here is I'll just take my compass from this point. Since they're on the same line to any of these points here, you can see that. To any of these points here, this point. And I'll just come here. And I'll just draw an arc this way. You can see that? Because if I take it from 0 to 1, is that the key? I will move from, this is what I'm making you understand. In this case, this is what you just do. Let me not waste too much of your time. If I watch the rest video, I get to understand what I'm trying to say. So from 0 to 1, right? They are all on the same, they are parallel. When it's parallel with the base, you just draw your line this way. Unlike when it is inclined. So the next one is the base everything is visible is complete from 0 to 6 is the base so from 0 to 6 is the base so i'm going to what also ticking from 0 to 6 also so i'll just take this way this is what we'll be having Then I'm going to close it up. Now close it up. You can see that? So this is what we have when you cut it from here and you look at that direction and you open it. Right? When you open it, this is where you have the development of it. And I see that is not the end. Now the next thing is um the plan. What are we going to say in the plan? Like I told you, I can just start projecting all those points downward. They are all parallel. So we just go straight to the point. So I can just bring all this down. So if I from here bring this down, this way, it, they are also is coming down. They are all on the same plane, all together. So you just take your compass to any of this end here. Let's do that and see. This way. That is what we are going to be having. That again. Today we will having remaining. So I can just decide to just um sketch here this, this section part. It's not really compulsory. This is where it's been sectioned. At a third degree. This is what we have here. So this is the complete plan. We are looking at it from the top. And this is where you see the base, the entire base. This is the entire base. And this is the whole is you have here, this point here, and this development. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.